Okay guys, so this is going to be a very short uh, video about the PowerJack uh, LF, I believe they call them LF today, 6000 watt pure sine wave split phase inverter. And I want to go into the power coming out of it, into the quality of the power okay, it produces. Because for me, if it says pure sine wave, it should be pure sine wave. And this one is not. And I don't believe that any of those are. But uh, we'll see. I will show you why and how it works. Just briefly, seems like it's pretty well built. Good solid connections here. Um, impressive coil, really. Don't want to go into too many details. There's a plenty of videos about that. On the front, we got uh, two outlets, switch, three fuses, and this is uh, a hardware hookup, which should be uh, 12240, which is not again that case. Um, but uh, oh, by the way. For you who don't know what is a um, split phase, means uh, pretty much when you look at the electrical panel, this is a split phase. You got two legs, this is a little more complicated. They alternate here, but let's make it simple. This is one leg, which is 120, this is another leg, which is 120, and both of them together will be 240. Okay, so same goes with. This inverter right here is only 120 coming out of these, so that's uh, one only one leg on both outlets here. Actually, it should be one in one, but <laughs> it's not the case. Uh, here you have pretty much black is a neutral, red is hot, and another red is another hot, which is another leg, another circuit if you want to call it that way. So you got 120 here. I mean, you don't, but you're supposed to have 120 here, 120 here, and two, 240 here between these two. Okay, so that's a split phase inverter. All right, let me set it up here. I got uh, pretty much just a voltmeter and a sine wave meter. Uh, I am running off uh, LiPo 4, fully charged, 26.6 uh, volts. And it is a 200 amp setup, so we don't have to worry about uh, power drop or stuff like that. I mean, voltage drop. Um, I guess that's it. So let's get in. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. So let's go into the uh, voltage without the load first. And I have to really improvise here, so I don't get in your way. And what we got is 111 on one, one side of one, one leg pretty much. 116 on the other leg. 127.7 uh, together it should be 240. So that that's kind of sucks already. Okay, and now the sine wave. Let me point this here. Can just stay, I guess. Okay, come on. There you go. So we got 116, and that's on the outlets right now. So, you know, it's a little bit better. But both of them are the same voltage. Now the sine wave will be kind of crappy. Oops. And I gotta be careful with my hand. So this is the sine wave. I hope you can see it. Okay. That's one leg. This is the sine wave on the other leg. Okay. So I'm gonna go and apply 1500 watt load to this. I guess I'm gonna just do it like that. It's it's a hair dryer. So I'm gonna go step by step. I'm just gonna go little by little so you will see how it changes. Then let's use the the leg that the 
as I was running from. And you see actually I was jumping like that. That's not the scope, that's, uh, that's actually the inverter. That's not, that's not good at all. But anyway, this is just a fan, but 90 watts. This is a fan, fan about 170 watts. Now I'm going to apply the heat to it. Now we did this sign ready for day. This is only 450 watts. Okay, so let's apply a little more. Uh, this sign rate is actually getting much lower here. Let's go on the other way. Yeah, the other way is stable, it's not jumping. But pretty crappy. So let's apply a little more. This pure sine wave inverter in, at 1500 watts is it's, uh, not a pure sine wave anymore. It's way... Uh, it's just pretty much a square sine wave. But uh, on another note, when I plug in uh, two hair dryers so with uh, 3000 watts, it will shut off. Okay, and that's just because those two outlets are on the same leg. And if you split 6,000 watts into into pretty much a split split face uh, inverter, it will give you 3,000 on one leg, 3,000 on the other leg, which would be fine. But I don't know why they didn't put one outlet on one leg and another outlet on another leg, so you will get more power out of the inverter. That's just very very little work for uh, for really good good uh, results, but. Uh, just laziness or I don't know so anyway this is not pure sine wave inverter and uh, I am really pressed with the time so I'm gonna cut it off right now looks like my scope is pressed with the time too and uh, if I can recommend if I can recommend go power which is a Kotec, same thing, those two are exactly the same. One is blue, one is yellow. These guys, they just, uh, they just uh, blow. Okay, the best inverters on the market right now. Forget about Soundtrax, forget about, um, I don't know what. Okay, <laughs> I, already, I already done Soundtrax. Um, and, and a lot of other ones. So, Go Power is to go, Kotec is to go. Thank you.